Hi, my name is Paul Gerritsen. With our team at Delta Metropol, we focus on the spatial development in the delta of the Rhine, Meuse and Schelm. The flat and subsea level delta starts to become endangered territory. More locally, this goes hand in hand with the collapse of ecosystems and the growing social inequality, creating significant political challenges. Refocusing on natural systems and their inherent resilience is an important way forward. We set out to do our part and visited the river to hear its voice. The port of Rotterdam is the largest port in Europe and it owes its success in part to the city's location at the mouth of the Maas River. The Maas River is approximately 950 kilometers long and flows through France, Belgium and end in the Netherlands in Rotterdam before emptying it itself into the North Sea. One thing you know this is the River Maas, but then again it's not. You know it's not the Maas probably, yeah? it's actually the Rhine. Um, so the Rhine continues like 1000 kilometers, look at that sign. Yeah. The Maas River is indeed an important part of Rotterdam's identity. Uh, the growth of Rotterdam or the city of Rotterdam actually owes its existence to the Maas River. In Grave, this view from the Maas Boulevard over the water is, is breathtaking, it's really nice. But in the uh, current events, uh, every dike should be raised by a meter or more, which means that this historic view on the water kind of disappears behind a wall or behind a dike. Uh, kind of destroying their identity. This identity is something that is very uh, typical for Rotterdam itself, right? So everybody associates with the harbor uh, and with the water. And uh, uh, these icons that you see here, they become the decor, you know? They become the identity of Rotterdam itself and the river plays a vital role in that. Other than the economic activities of the river, the river also acts as a connector to the city not just connecting through mobility but also connecting the south and the north of the city which is geographically a barrier in the city development because also the water bus was coming here so then because the water bus is a is a service that goes along the river so it, it kind of goes back and forth to the sides and goes all the way to Dordrecht which is quite far but then it's also connected to this boat so suddenly because the south has no connection to the water bus none they didn't connect to all these neighborhoods, which is 200,000 people, yeah. unconnected. But by using the small ship, you could connect to the water bus and then go to Dordrecht or anywhere, or to the Erasmus Bridge. Or, uh, so there was a kind of hub. Like in Venice, you probably, you know, I mean, the river is really the central kind of gateway to everything. In a way, this could also be the case for Rotterdam. Like all the highlights, all the most important places of interest, even the university right now does not have an address on the river and that's really strange in a way another thing what's interesting what we think is interesting is the flexibility of the water like on the land you always have to deal with real estate because it's fixed to the land and uh, obviously the water is really you know it, yeah it's flowing but it means also in terms of facilities or things you can move things around during the air rotterdam architectural month we will uh, program three big vessels. They are like eight, 80 to 80 meters long. And for us, this is a prelude, like a preview on how this system of a kind of uh, armada of functions could work in the city. So in this case, it's like a park and there is urban sports in this one. Obviously, we tried to make a swimming pool in this one also, but that was really one <laughs> step too far. Now it's an exposition uh, talking about, you know, the potential of the river as a central park. Uh, but for us, it's also kind of test side to see if this could work. So the idea is that this one, the urban sports boat, after the month also goes to the Poussonshaven. Mm -hmm. And we, we think it's, it's, it's like it could be a, a culture of moving things around in the city. It's the city of Rotterdam has a rich history as a commercial and cultural centre and its proximity to the Maas River has played a very important role in the development over centuries. But this is not just for the city of Rotterdam. This is a character that has been built or the river has been very important 
uh, as an identity for all the smaller, medium and bigger cities in the Netherlands. The province of Gelderland kind of noticed that they need to approach projects in a much more regional uh, sense. Um, so it, it became almost like an experiment. So they, they basically started by doing this uh, regional perspective on the rivers in order to start a new regional team focusing on the landscape. Each citizen from Rotterdam has a different perception and relation with the river. We tried to host the, a group of uh, Rotterdam citizens to discuss their ideas, to discuss their opinions about the relation between the river and the city. The Maas River makes Rotterdam like no other place in the Netherlands, functioning as a main source for development of economics and recreations for its citizens, like the movement of the river, the city around it never sits still. For me, the identity of Rotterdam is not only the river, but the bridges all over it. For example, the famous Erasmus Bridge, which spans the Maas River, is one of the most iconic symbol for, of Rotterdam. I see the Maas coexisting with us, the citizens of Rotterdam. It has been there before me, it is going to be there after me.